Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox and today we're going to be doing something pretty crazy so try, try not to miss out on it, it's gonna be great, absolutely fantastic. We are going to get the Earth and we are going to pass, <laughs> pass a black hole through Earth at the speed of light. Um, how am I going to do this? Well, first we're going to have to turn off collisions because a black hole will very easily eat Earth. I think most of us know this. If you don't know this, then I have taught you a black hole will eat the Earth. <laughs> or at least a large enough one. Uh, but we're going to go with the one with one solar mass to start and then we will try larger ones if this one goes well. So they can't collide, but they can interact with each other gravitationally. Oh, where did my black hole go? Hate it when I lose my black hole. Terrible experience. Alright, so we're gonna slow down time a lot. We are going to set the speed of this black hole to one light speed, which is pretty fast, you know? It's like jogging speed for the average, uh, average person. Oh, and wow, okay, I should have slowed it down more, shouldn't I? Oh. Actually, no, it just disappeared. Everything disappeared. Where did everyone go? <laughs> okay, we'll try that one again. Alright, take two. Let's see if we can get this down to, like, very, 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 very slow. <laughs> Much slower than last time. We have learned our lesson. And I think we should be safe right about now. Yeah, okay. So we are moving, and if we put the time scale up to five milliseconds per- oh, no! This seems more reasonable, okay. So, during the time, you can see the amount of time that has passed in total since the simulation started. You can see it's not really moving, because this is kind of happening instantaneously. Every second that goes by right now, 50 milliseconds go by in this simulation. So I believe that means we're going about a- 20th? No. I don't know why I said no, I was right. I actually checked it because I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Alright, my math was right. Anyways, we are going 120th of real time right now, so... Well, no longer, I just modified it. Not as fun. So, the black hole is actually super close to the Earth now. With the mass of the Sun this close to Earth, the question is, what will happen? Collisions are off, so when it touches, nothing should actually occur. It should just pass through Earth. But tidal forces and obviously the crazy amount of gravitational pull is still going to be here. So we'll see what happens from this. Is it just too fast for the Earth to even notice? Wow. Really? Okay, that was unexpected. Let's see if we let time go back faster again. If we get any obvious outcome from that. Did anything even happen? Did the Earth just absolutely ignore the black hole passing through it? That'd be pretty impressive. Yeah, things seem eerily normal on Earth. I'm... I'm actually very imp I mean, Earth is moving pretty quickly now, um, because obviously it got pulled, but I guess it just wasn't enough mass and it went through too quickly. So this gives us a good basis to go off of, and the question instantly becomes, how large of a black hole can we pass through Earth with collisions off without causing critical damage? Um, because this is my channel, we will start with the most ridiculous. We'll try to find a black hole that's slightly smaller than Earth. Obviously not that one. 100 solar masses? Ah, uh, Doesn't really give me a good in-between. It's okay, we will... We will make our own black hole. Screw it! We will go ahead, fire a black hole, and we will size it up all by ourselves. Let's make it a thousand suns in mass. Now we're talking big, big black hole going to be passed through the Earth at the speed of light. Now the question is, is it fast enough that we won't notice? 
or this time being a thousand times stronger gravitational pull, will the speed not be enough to save the Earth from the damage that could unfold? Well, place your bets in the comments below. We will get things down to where we were before. Do, do, do. Let's switch this to milliseconds per second so that we can really see. Alrighty. And we were at about 50. Here we go. This one, I have a feeling, is going to be a little bit more interesting. So, if you were looking at Earth like this, you wouldn't be able to even really tell that there was a black hole here. I mean, from Earth, you'd be able to tell um, because we'd notice a giant black spot in the middle of the sky, or actually things being warped around the night sky. But as we get closer to Earth, you'll notice that the light starts to get bent around the black hole. There it goes. And it's really, really close now. So I'm going to hover over this so you can actually see the radius of the black hole, because obviously it's kind of hard to see the event horizon normally. And right about here we're actually going to be passing into the earth now remember i do have collisions off so the damage done here is going to be entirely from tidal forces in the earth actually being ripped apart from the oh wow when it's inside of the earth it still has the graphical effect that is really neat what is earth looking like right now when it i'm very curious if anything is happening to earth earth's temperature is normal and it kind of looks like everything is normal really the the tidal forces should be ripping earth apart right now the amount of mass that just oh 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 what's that it would appear that some stuff is getting pulled out of the Earth from this. Even at the speed of light, it looks like inside of the Earth, chunks have been flung. But how many? Oh, we are getting pretty peppered on both the impact and exit sites. And it seems like this is actually going for a while. How long is this going to continue for? The particles must be inside of the earth and hitting the shell from the- Oh, there's a particle right here. They're coming out now. So the damage is actually appearing quite a bit later. Hours later. Maybe not hours. I just saw hours. Okay, okay. But still, quite a bit later. Now we can see the results of it passing through. And unlike last time, there is damage. Not a little bit of damage either. The average temperature of Earth has jumped up to 88 degrees, almost boiling, and the Earth is peppered with damage all throughout. But it's not destroyed. Not to the point where I'd say, okay, we did it, Reddit, even though this isn't Reddit. We did it, YouTube. We did it, Vuperians. We're not quite there yet, so I'm going to present a, a final offer. Earth stay right there how about we fire sagittarius a through you now this may seem no that's a little bit too much what about 10 million slurm ah uh, 1 million i think 1 million is a little bit more reasonable okay 1 million solar masses black hole versus earth it should pass earth will pass through it this time Ooh, it's hard to find. Oh, there it is. You can... No, is is that it? No? Where are you? You sneaky black hole. I really have no clue where it is. I have to turn on the labels. Um, excuse me. Why aren't you showing labels? Where is it? Oh. Oh, there it is. Can you just literally not... Oh, yeah, that is... Really wacky. That is really quite wacky. Alright. 
So, the question becomes, what will happen? Um, this we have to set to going the speed of light, obviously. It's so large, though, the Earth will be inside of it for a quite a bit longer than the other ones. Um, we will see how this goes. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, this is just bringing it to such a ridiculous scale. Alright, so we have started the simulation. It's going to be really, really challenging to tell when it hits Earth. Uh, but here we go. Is it moving away from Earth? What? Excuse me? That's not what you were supposed to do. Okay. Well, that's that's concerning. The entire simulation just gave up on me. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, so we have Earth here. Maybe I shot Earth accidentally? I don't think so. Okay, one million solar mass launch at Earth from a good distance, right? That may be a little bit too far. Ah, it won't hurt anyone. Oh, shoot. I accidentally... Okay, we're going to have to change that. Uh, we have to turn off collision. All right. Collision is off. Black hole now has to be set to one light speed. All right. And now it's time to play a game of chicken, but not really chicken because they are going to both hit each other. We can speed things up a bit to try to get them to collide a little bit faster. Well, not collide, but do their thing. Hopefully I didn't miss. This is a very large black hole, so I don't... I don't think I could miss. Even though we're going extremely slowly, you can still see the Earth moving. That's just, that's how strong the gravitational pull is. It's it's getting Earth up to quite a bit of speed. If we look at the motion of Earth, Earth is going at one light speed? What? Wait, wait, no way. Are you serious? Why is Earth going at the speed of light? Oh my God, it's getting accelerated so quickly towards this light. Now there's two light speed, basically, of relative velocity between the two. Earth is looking pretty normal. Temperature, normal. Mass, normal. Uh, but this is going to be quite the collision at two light speeds. They will pass through each other, but the amount of damage that'll be done to Earth is really unpredictable at this point. All right, here it goes. It's gonna look a little bit weird as Earth kind of disappears into a black hole, but that's how it goes. Here we are, and Earth actually did heat up a tiny bit there. Let's grab the graph. It's up to 14 now. And it's, it is, oh, here we go. We are actually getting some consistent rise in temperature. Okay, it's about to fall. It's, it's getting quite close to the event horizon here. And now it's really starting to jump up. Not as much as I would expect. I mean, a few degrees here and there. 25, 28, I mean, oh, it's now inside of the, oh, no, it's not. Close, but not quite. I was off with my aim a tiny bit. Now it's inside of the black hole. The amount of force that the Earth is now, oh, we can see on this here that the Earth is actually taking massive damage. If we zoom in inside of the black hole, we can see the same thing. 
I'm assuming the temperature increases are all correlated to these strikes on the surface of the particles being ripped out. Oh, oh, what's this? Even though it's going at the speed of light, the Earth has actually been completely decelerated and changed directions going back towards the black hole again. It looks like it's going to take more of a right angle and it's going to escape. But look at the amount of damage it's taking. Oh my god, particles and destruction everywhere. I mean, it did just go through a super massive black hole, pretty much, so. I, I can understand the pain. Um, it hasn't actually lost that much material, and it hasn't really... I mean, sure, 500 degrees Celsius is pretty warm, but it just passed through a black hole at the speed of light. <laughs> I'm actually very impressed by how well Earth has handled this, so... I think I think that settles it. This is legitimately in this game you can get through with pretty minor injury from passing through a black hole given you do it fast enough so just keep that in mind next time you're planning a vacation. See you all next time. Thank you for watching, join the discord, and I'll see you all next time Vuperians.